city of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down We are here at Shenley Plaza next to the University of Pittsburgh And just like universities will offer many classes on one subject Sony has four different versions of their 50mm lens ranging in f-stops from an f1.2 to a 2.5 and if we are going to talk about lenses life when it's complex if i'm loving it center if i can live here forever think it'd be for the better i love the weather even though it's fog 24 7 i love the people this is city i met all my best friends and i want to thank every brick i want to thank every entrance to every building that i step in in this city what we got here is the sony 50 millimeter f 2.5 g lens I got this from LensRentals.com. They did not sponsor this episode, but I really liked using their services. And as a returning customer, I got a 10% discount. So when you're about to drive your son across the country to drop him off for his freshman year, now is a great time to compare and contrast two of Sony's 50 millimeter lens. The first one is the Sony F 1.8 50mm lens, and the second is their G F 2.5 lens. I never really had a place to call my own, so I travel and I roam. As a price conscious consumer who is literally about to drop his son off at college, this is why we are just going to stick to these two lenses in our compare and contrast as we drive our way across the United States. I learn a little. I brought some weed and baby, maybe we could burn a little. She said you're funny. I said no, I'm David and I left. Sun shining, birds chirping. Let me take a breath. I'm headed to the city with my chance to make it best. What people like to give a little, then you take the rest. I'm hoping one day maybe I can find a place to rest. I fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next. I like the hustle and bustle. I fell in love with the fashion. I feel the pulse of the city is moving me like a passion and it's mine. Both of these lenses have a lot in common. They are both E-mount lenses for full-frame Sony cameras. They both have seven blades in the aperture. They both have the largest apertures of f22. And they are both small, compact lenses that I think fit exceptionally well on the a7C. But outside all of these criteria, the f1.8 and the f2.5 G are very different lenses and they are intended for very different skill sets, which asks the question, why is the F1.8 under $200? Somewhere in Nebraska. So why is this lens under $200? Well, the outside is made of aluminum and the inside has six elements or lenses. This is a very simple lens. You can see how smooth it is. There's only a focusing ring. So besides a great low entry price of under $200, what this lens has to offer is the 1.8 aperture, which allows for a shallow depth of field. I mean, a shallow depth of field, it is incredible because it's just so much fun to play and experiment with that depth of field. And if you're new to photography, being able to experiment from a f1.8 to a f22 is a great way to learn about how to control your depth of field and how to learn how to shoot in aperture mode. But I've got to tell you, be warned, this will cause a case of bokeh fever like none other because your first impulse is going to be to crank this thing down to the f1.8 to get a very shallow depth of field. This, of course, is gonna cause you to misfocus, not have all of your object in focus. You could be using a tripod or not, and Boca Fever is gonna get you good. But that is all part of the learning process about how to take photos and shoot video. Having used this lens for over three years, nobody has ever looked at my photos or commented on my videos and said, ew, that image looked like it came from a $200 lens. So as we get closer to freshman year, this lens is for an underclassman to learn the basics of photography and to begin to experiment in both photos and film. 
And when you feel you have outgrown the simplicity of the F1.8, well then it's time to think about the F2.5G. Somewhere in Wyoming. The first thing you notice with the F2.5G on your camera is that it's a little shorter than the F1.8. It weighs a little more, but honestly, you won't notice that. But there are three big differences with this. It's got three buttons. It's got an autofocus manual focus button. It has a hold focus button. And then it has a click on and off for the aperture ring, which corresponds to the aperture ring. Now, when you click it on, there is going to be a click between each aperture stop. And when you click it off, there's just going to be a smooth sliding of the aperture ring. On the aperture ring, there's a red A. When you align the red A with the white hash on top of the camera, it just allows for the camera to control the aperture. In front of the aperture ring is the focus ring, which is wider and smoother than the aperture ring, which helps differentiate in the tactile feel when you're working with your camera. So within seconds, you will notice that this lens is more complicated and it's G rated, yo. What's the G stand for? The G in Sony lenses stands for gold, and it refers to Sony's highest quality, most expensive professional lenses. Not only is it a G-rated lens, it has nine lenses on the inside to help capture an image. It also has a dual linear autofocus. And I gotta tell you, you notice the autofocus right away. It is fast and it snaps an image right into focus. Sure, this lens doesn't have three f-stops of an f1.8 or 2.0 or 2.2, which means a lot of your problems with Boca fever are now lower. It feels like you kind of get a small vaccine against the fever. And without being an expert on Boca, the f2.5 does a great job of separating the subject from the background. And the images, oh, the images. Let's just say that this lens make you feel like you are an upperclassman. You have now mastered the basics of the F1.8, and with your knowledge and experience, the F2.5 becomes an expression of your creative vision. The added lenses inside of this with the linear autofocus, the G lens is a step up from the simplicity of the F1.8. And you, as a filmmaker and photographer, can now notice the difference and appreciate what it means to have a lens on your camera with the G on it. To put a new G 2.5 on your camera, like say the A7C, it's gonna cost you a little over $500. And it's easy to find a used one for under 500. This price is reasonable because it doesn't break the bank. And I like that. Now, let's play can you spot the difference between a photo that was shot on the Sony F1.8 or a photo that was taken on a Sony F2.5G. Could you tell which photos were shot with the F1.8 and which ones were shot with the F2.5G? Just to be fair, I kept both apertures at 2.5 to maybe make it a little harder. We moved Spencer into the dorm and now we're going rock climbing. So now let's shoot some video and see if you can tell the difference between these two lenses. Yeah, I did. So, it's cheap, broke, not dirty. Without giving slack. And then what's cool is if you move your thumb off the light gray and now pull, it lost it. Exactly. Yeah.
nice. Could you tell in that climbing video which shots were made with the F 2.5G and which shots were made with the F 1.8? Now it is time to return the F 2.5G to lens rentals and they make this very simple. Step number one, make sure you've got all the caps on the front and the back of the lens. Step number two, put the lens in the bag. Step number three, put the lens bag back into the case. Step number four, put the camera case back into the box that it came with. Step number five, find a UPS store, go there, put the shipping label on it, seal it with the tape, and return it to Lens Rentals. Lens Rentals, thank you so much for making this Lens Rental so easy and so much fun. What a great way to spend six days by comparing and contrasting the Sony 50mm f1.8 with the Sony f2.5G. If I were to design a class on the Nifty 50, my introduction to this lens would include both the f1.8 and the f2.5G as a great place to grow your creativity and master the basics of photography and film. I totally recommend both of these lenses. I would go out and purchase these. They are fantastic. Leave a comment down below about what 50 millimeter lens you like best. I'd love to hear from you. Stick around for more videos about filmmaking and photography, and I will see you back in the Berg. Thank you so much for flying with us tonight. Come back to see us sometime real soon. Welcome to Pittsburgh.